It's been a very hard year for Ukraine. Ukraine is fighting. Tonight, a group gathered in downtown Asheville to show support for those in Ukraine. News 13's Samir Nafsi was there and spoke with a Ukrainian family who fled the country as the war waged on. In Pack Square, a small yet mighty crowd stands united for Ukraine during a candlelight vigil. It comes a year after Russia invaded Ukraine. Among the crowd, a mother and daughter who say they fled, leaving everything behind. February 24th, 2022. Russian forces move in on Ukraine, launching a full attack on the country. 24th of February happened at 4.30 in the morning. It started with bombs and explosions. We heard that, but we couldn't still believe the whole day. 42-year-old Katerina Buchavari and her then nine-year-old daughter making the life or death decision to leave their home in Kyiv. It was perfectly clear that it wasn't safe anymore. Then the families got shot in the cars and we left and the next day our house was bumped. The mother daughter duo breaking for asylum in March of that year as Russian forces multiplied, arriving to the US a month later through the Mexican border. It's very painful. I know many, many people uh, really want to move to go somewhere, but when you leave because you have to, it's very different. You always have tears running when you see the stories. Now, a year later, a somber anniversary of the war. Buchavari now joins this crowd in Asheville to stand with Ukraine during a peace rally. This is wonderful. This is very significant because we all need each other in this world. We here in the States are thinking about them. Many of us think of them every day and, and do things to try to help. Images from Ukraine show the devastation and aftermath of more than 365 days of war. ABC News estimates more than 19,000 Ukraine citizens have died in the conflict so far. Showing support for Ukraine now is so important, not just for Ukraine, but for the future of freedom in the entire world, for freedom and democracy. While the war rages on, Ukrainian flags are raised here in the mountains in signs of support held front and center. It's doing what they can wherever they can. And we all believe in victory. Just stay safe and just believe. Mir Ukraini. Organizers of the rally tell me they hope to continue efforts just like this one, adding they're looking into a hyper local effort called Asheville for Ukraine. In downtown Asheville, I'm Samir Nafsi, News 13.